everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to insert new rows or columns or delete existing rows or columns so if you remember uh, a few few days back we did a video on how to hide or unhide rows or columns so the macro is going to be pretty much same we just have to change a bit right so what I'm going to do is add some rows between these table and this columns, right? So let's start. So as always, you have to start with the range. So for example, let's say I want to enter a row here after B4, sorry, before B4. Okay, so you have to write range and then in bracket inverted commas B4 dot entire row right and then insert okay now there is one more way uh, what you can do is you can directly write row number like this so 4.4 so you don't need to mention column uh, <clears throat> name here column alphabet so you can directly write 4.4 so and then you can write entire row dot insert so that will also work okay I'll change this to, for example, 8, just to show you the demo. Similarly, uh, you can insert columns, right? So you just have to change entire column instead of row. And you have to give the right address where you want to add. So for example, I want to add uh, before C. So I'll enter C4. Now, similar to rows, um, like we just mentioned the number, right? Similarly, we can just mention the alphabet also, and that will also work, right? And in the first uh, method also, even if you write C5 or C6, it doesn't matter because the column is going to be same and it is going to insert column based on column alphabet that you mentioned. So I'll first show you this and then I'll show you how to delete them. So for example, I'm pressing F8 to step run this. Right, so row 4 is now a new row. Okay, row 8 is now a new row. Similarly, um, new columns. So you can see column C is now a new column. And I'll change this a bit. Let's say I want this before E. Because again, it will be C. So okay, I'll write E. Right? So you can see this now is entered before E. Okay? But what if you want more than one columns? So you can also write E to F. So it will take, it will add two new columns. Or you can write, for example, C to T6 okay C6 to T6 similarly for rows also if you want more than one rows to be added so for example I want two rows so you can write B4 to B5 and 8 to 10 for example so it will add three rows okay I'll again run this very quickly I'm pressing F8 so you can see uh, two, two new rows have been added here and two new rows have been added after this table. Similarly, uh, two columns are added. And after column E, two more columns are added. Right? So this way, you can add multiple columns or delete multiple columns based on your requirement in the project. Similarly, the code is going to be same to delete rows or columns you just have to change insert to delete okay so i'll quickly change them to delete and let's say i want to delete c to g right so i'll write c6 to g6 i'll remove this because i don't want this now but you can again use this if you want and I want to delete column I also. Okay, so I'll write only I to 
i okay so another way also we will see and uh, similarly i want to delete row 4 to row 6 okay row 4 to row 6 and then row 8 to row 10 all right and then i also want to delete row 13 okay so similarly i'll add row 13 here right now i'll quickly run this with f5 so the full code will run at one go okay so as you can see now i have on uh, this thing deleted and now i also have few more rows which are empty and i'll delete them also so row five to row seven i'll delete that okay right so this way you can see uh, how i inserted or deleted the columns uh, you can use this on your projects and let me know in comments how you liked this video or is there is any other topic you want me to cover i'll be happy to you know work on that video and that's it for this one uh, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, yet also share it with your friends family so they can also learn these VBA tricks. Thank you very much and have a great day.